All right, guys. Sorry about that. Uh, Mr. Graven here with Mystics MMOs. I am your uh, host. Sorry about that. Um, I am on my PlayStation on Final Fantasy uh, 14, and today I'm going to give you a tutorial how to set up macros on your console. Final Fantasy 14 on a console can seem a little intimidating because majority of the players are going to use controllers versus keyboard and mouse. Now you can use keyboard and mouse in this game, but I'm going to do this from a controller's perspective. So it's going to be a little drawn out, but at the same time, I definitely do want to give uh, players, you know, how to configure. Now you'll notice my HUD's different than probably your standard configuration. I'll probably go over that another day, how to set that up as well to make your HUD a little bit more cleaner, your heads up display. Um, I definitely am a very picky person when it comes to HUD configurations. So uh, with that being said, the first thing we're going to want to head and do is hit our start, right? Uh, it's our, you know, to the right side. We're going to go over to system and we're going to go over to the user macro. Now, the first thing I want to go ahead and do is set up, you know, a configuration. So I've already got one pre-started, but you'll go to a blank space. You'll select a name right you'll hit triangle and you'll get a keyboard so the basic then you just name it just so you know what it is so for this purpose i'm going to put a o e taunt just so i know what it is okay and then i'm going to come i'm going to hit uh, my uh my <laughs> this button Okay, I'm going to come back. I'm going to select an icon now. You can pick any icon you want. Okay, now once we're over here, we'll click here. Now, it's important to understand that we can't pull up our, on PC, we can pull up our abilities and take a look. On here, it's not so easy. So what I want you to remember is everything you input is already saved. You don't have to save it. It's already saved. So we have our icon. We have our title. So we're going to back out here and we're going to hit start again. First thing we want to go is go to our character and we want to go to our abilities, our action and traits. This is going to let us know what, how we want our setup to go. So I'm going to use an AOE taunt. So one of the abilities I'm going to preset in my macro is Rampart, for example. So basically, it's just saying, oh, okay, I want to I want to use Rampart first in my macro configuration. And then I'm going to go back to the macro, and then I'm going to go over. I'm going to select, and then I'm going to pull up my keyboard again. I'm going to use the backslash command. And then I'm going to type action. Okay. Then I want a space. And with the capital, I want to input Rampart. Then I'm going to hit done. And you'll see it's in my command now. So now I already have an action associated with with my first ability now another thing i want to go ahead and do is i'll check out the comments here in a minute uh, i'm going to back out and you can use the text command box if you don't know what the uh, commands are so if i want to i can just come down here and it'll give me the text commands what the commands are for what i'm trying to do whether i want to delay or so on and so forth. Um, there are a lot of different com backslash commands that you can implement into the macro system. But in this, we're just going to keep it, uh, you know, uh, we're going to simplify it. So Rampart's going to be the first one. So I'm going to back out again. Now, keep in mind, you don't want to put a spammable as your front because your rotation has to be on a global cooldown. You want to apply everything set to the global effect. So basically when I go to actions and traits and I take a look at Rampart, it has a 90 second recast. So it's an instant effect with 90 seconds. Okay, very, very important to remember this. Okay, so just a heads up. Then I can go ahead and apply another effect. But for this uh, purpose, we're just going to, you know, 
make it, I'm just making it very, very simple. Okay, so just a heads up. Okay, now the second thing I want to go ahead and do is take a look at anticipation. This is going to increase parry, but the first thing I need to do is throw my taunt. So I have a my AOE taunt, so it's called ultimatum, ultimatum. So I want to go ahead, I'm going to add that next to my list. So once again, I'm going to go to user macros. I'm going to go to the one I've already preset. I'm going to click it, and then I want to uh, get this down. So I think if I hit enter, I have a keyboard. Right. And the keyboards are useful for this. Once again, I am going to open this up. I'm going to use the action command. You always want to have a space in between the action. We want to capitalize our next one. Okay. Then we're going to use ultimatum. And then we're done. It already saves. All right. So then th that's our next ability. All right. So that's we have our buff. We have our AOE taunt. Okay. Once again, we back out. We go into our um, action list again, into our roles. And now we're going to use our anticipation. So this is going to... Uh, Increase our parry rate. We don't want to go ahead and cast this before because we just taunted. So now we don't want to, because we have a, um, a 20 second duration with the 60 second recast. So for 40 seconds, it becomes useless. So we don't want to use it to, we don't want to pr use it and waste it. So I do apologize about this. So once again, I'm going to go over to my macros. Going to go to the one I'm making. Going to click. And then, once again, we're going to use the action. We want that space. Okay. Okay, wait, 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 I forgot to put the I. No, A-N-T-I. Yeah. C-I. P. A. T. P patient. Okay. Now that's set. So we have three effects with all global cooldowns. Okay, keep that in mind. So we've just set three commands on one global cooldown. Now we're going to apply our spammable effect. So we're going to go back to actions. We're going to go to actions now, and we're going to use our overpower because it's instant. It has a recast, and we can just utilize this more effectively. Effectively. So that's... Okay. Just want to make sure that that red right overpower overpower not powered overpower you want to make sure everything's typed perfectly on the command list okay once again we're going to come over here once again backslash action Overpowered, and then we're set. Now, we're going to back out, and we're going to set to hotbar. Now, I'm going to set it into a place where I typically would have my uh, tomahawk or an ability that I'm running. So, for example, I can set it over here to the circle. And now you see that I have it set, okay? Now, um, okay. 
Now to make sure, we want to make sure it works properly before we do anything. We're always going to test it. So we're going to look for a mob. And then we're going to use our abilities. You'll see the Rampart cast. And then I can just spam, and then we have it. And then I can use my other abilities. And if my global cooldowns are uh, up, then by hitting it, it, it rotates through the spammable. Okay, so you guys see it. It'll skip through and it'll just go to the next ability. So there's how you set up a macro on the console. Now, very important, you don't want to use, once again, instant-based attacks in the macro because it, it just becomes a cluster. It becomes a headache. You want to use anything with a global cooldown to preset and to, uh, to initially cast and then add the spammable as your last command. And the like, combos are not recommended. So basically here, my uh, square, X, and circle are all spammable abilities I would not set into a macro. So just a heads up. Now let me go ahead and check out the comments and then I'll wrap up this video. So if there's a Q&A involved, but I hope this tutorial helps players. Because a lot of times people are kind of hesitant because they're like, I have limited spar space. There's so many things going on with this HUD and interface. And it can be overwhelming. Yo, Mystic, what's up, brother? How's your game? Uh, you're de uh, developing coming along. Well, uh, I'm not in development mode. I'm in prospectus mode. And I'm trying. It's. I've got a couple more meetings. It, the, mm, things are drawn out. Let's put it that way. It may not come to fruition. Uh, it's you know the practicality of the world. But I'm trying to do my part. Trying to do my part. But I appreciate that heads up, Snoop, and asking. Thank you so much. Um, now once again on the map, I can just hit the square. It'll open it up and then circle to get rid of it. And that's pretty much how the HUD. Um, how I do that. I'll set up the HUD later. But I definitely want to give a tutorial how to build macros on in Final Fantasy 14 on the play, PlayStation 4 platform. So if anybody has any questions, any comments, please post below. I hope this tutorial was helpful. I and I hope players have a good experience using macros on the PlayStation 4. All right, once again, I'm Mystic Raven. This is Mystic's MMOs. And as always, thank you guys. Have a nice day.